In the beginning, I would call a hydro an unneeded expense. I know a lot of people disagree with me on that. Hey folks, Randy here with Dolan Cut and Trim. So it's really frozen out here. So I uh, can't really get started on the leaves yet because they're all stuck to the ground. So it's supposed to get, a, it's like 30 degrees right now, but it's going to get up to like 52. So uh, that's not what this video is about. Um, I've been asked several times, um, possibly by the same person or different people, <laughs> I'm not sure, <laughs> um, about my uh, Bradley mower. And there's been two questions and they've asked, have I noticed a difference in efficiency going from a belt drive to a uh, hydro? And have I noticed, and do I wish I'd bought it sooner? Uh, if you guys that have been following the channel for a while, you know I was talking about buying that thing for like two years before I actually bought it. And so uh, I guess I'll, I'll answer the efficiency question first. So what I expected when I bought it was that I was gonna see a massive, massive improvement in efficiency um, that I could actually uh, track and would be able to see um, and demonstrate and what was interesting was I didn't see the massive change in efficiency that I would have expected so when it comes to changes in efficiency I was expecting a pretty massive leap I was expecting a 20% uh, change in speed um, as far as like completing properties but that's not actually what happened um, as you know most of my properties are quarter acre and under um, honestly, most of them are probably closer to a sixth of an acre. And so I didn't see the initial uh, change that I was uh, expecting. I was looking for a 20% increase in efficiency. And what ended up happening was probably closer to a 5 to 10% uh, change in efficiency. So like if a lawn typically took me 24 minutes, then um, I was getting that down to 22 or 21 minutes. Um, and that was kind of across the board. So what I saw was a 10% uh, increase in efficiency. We'll, we'll say 10% because it was closer to 10% than five, um, which, you know, that, that works out good. I mean, you know, that means um, if, I'm, if, I, if my efficiency increased by 10%, then what would have, what the time it would take me to do 10 lawns, in theory, I could do 11. Um, so you know, you're seeing an increase, a boost in productivity in that way. Um, now where I did see a really big boost in efficiency, excuse me, where I did see a big boost in efficiency was on larger properties. When I started getting into like a half acre and above, there was a big difference. I'm talking like 25%. Um, so like, uh, you know, I, a yard that would take me 45 minutes typically, I was getting done in about 35 minutes. Um, I had a one acre property that would usually take me an hour and 15 minutes to complete. And uh, using a hydro, I was down to uh, usually around 45 to 50 minutes. So on big open areas, you see a massive change in uh, the efficiency of a hydro as opposed to a belt drive, um, which was interesting. I. I that's not what I was expecting. Now, one of the things that uh, you do see a big increase in, but it's a kind of an intangible, is hydros are just so much easier to use. Um, you know, the belt drive, especially with like a T-bar, I mean, you find yourself really pushing that bar as hard as you can uh, to try and get as much speed or whatever out of the, the mower as possible. And, you know, there's also, like, if you got to go backwards, you're pulling it backwards. You know, with a hydro, I mean, you're literally just working your thumbs and fingers. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, so it's a lot easier. Um, so while the you are go, getting stuff done faster, there's nowhere near the amount of effort expended um, using a hydro as opposed to using a, uh, uh, a walk behind, a, a belt drive. So... There is an increase in efficiency, but not as much as you would expect. Not enough that I would say it justifies the purchase when you're first starting out. Um, I don't feel I, I don't feel bad about using a belt drive for as long as I did, um, because the change in efficiency isn't enough to justify the purchase in my mind. Um, obviously, different people are gonna have different opinions on that, but 
it's to me it wasn't it wasn't a big enough change where I was like, which this is going to lead into the next question. It wasn't a big enough change where I feel bad for waiting as long as I did or wish I'd bought it sooner. Um, there were a lot of benefits to having an old belt drive. Um, I learned how to work on small engines uh, because of that more. You know, there are so many skills that I have that I wouldn't have if I hadn't started out with, uh, you know, 1995... 36 inch Toro Pro line. Um, uh, so, no, I, I don't really wish I'd bought it sooner. I mean, I would have loved to have been in a position to buy it sooner, but you know, I didn't buy it until I was a hundred percent comfortable uh, with where I was financially. You know, like a lot of folks, they're like, Yeah, I think I'll be fine. I, I didn't buy the brand new mower until I was like, Yeah, I'm a hundred percent fine. I'm not worried about it at all. So I don't really feel bad about it that because I was at complete peace with the purchase the whole time. Um, you know, I, I never, there was never a moment of buyer's remorse ever. Um, and you know, I really like it. I really like what I'm able to do with the machine and, you know, looking forward to, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting a lot of usage out of it. So, no, I, I'm not upset that I bought um, a belt drive first and stuck with it as long as I did. I don't feel like I made a mistake in holding on to it as long as I did. I know a lot of people would probably disagree with me on that. And I know it really drove a lot of you guys crazy uh, that I didn't buy it sooner. Um, but, uh, you know, for my business and for what I'm doing, you know, it, it's worked out great for me. Um, so I, I don't really regret holding off on it. I actually think, um, it was a wise decision on my part. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I mean, the shocking thing is that the, uh, on smaller properties, a uh, hydro is not that much more efficient than a uh, belt drive. So in the beginning, I would call a hydro an unneeded expense. I know a lot of people disagree with me on that, but look. If you got to buy if you got to buy a brand new mower, you could get I mean shoot, you could get a uh uh a belt drive uh from, you know, World Lawn or or even uh, uh Bradley, you know, for under $2,000 if you absolutely have to get stuff brand new. Or you can get a belt drive that'll service you just fine uh for under 500 bucks. I mean, you know, the the if you time it right. I mean, my Toro Pro line, I, I paid $350 for it. And I mowed thousands of lawns. So, I, you know, it's... I love the fact that I was able to do so much with that thing. Um, and, uh, you know, it didn't cost me anything. And, you know, I gotta get that thing cleaned up, actually. Um, I got a sponsored video coming up, and uh, so I, I, I gotta get the... I have to work on that. With the dirt. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, so this is Randy with Dolan Cut and Trim. I hope that answered your question. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, you know, uh, I I don't. I mean, I I know a lot of people disagree, but I don't think buying a hydro is necessarily the first thing that should be on your list uh, when you're making equipment purchases. Get yourself a good belt drive. And spend your money on a trimmer because honestly, in my opinion, on smaller properties, a trimmer is what makes or breaks the job. You know, having a good quality, strong trimmer um, that you can do a real good job with, that's the move. So, uh, this is Randy with Dolan Cut and Trim. Have a good one.